church bodies to screen the Kerala story, the film, the Kerala story. Now this film Kerala story has been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Starting from being labeled as a propaganda film to being called an honest film to reveal the truth. This film is trending yet again and majorly in Kerala. First, it was the Idiki Diocese of the Syro Malabar Church in Kerala, which on Tuesday thought it was fit to screen the film for classes 10 to 12 children as part of their Sunday school training program. The reason, cited by Father Jin Skarakat, chairman of the Idiki Diocese Media Commission, was that the children were showed the Kerala story to educate them on the dangers of love jihad. Strange, isn't it? That's what we are going to debate. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan, who registered his protest against screening of the film on Doordarshan, shared this about the film, and I'm quoting him. He said, it, that is the film, is RSS agenda, Sangh Parivar agenda, we should not be part of that agenda. It was said that the movie tells the story of Kerala, where have such things happened in the state. <coughs> now, after the Idiki Epaki, the youth movement of the church or the Kerala Catholic Youth Movement, KCYM, has also decided to screen the Kerala story in two more dioceses and an archdiocese of the Syro Malabar Church, the Pala and a Tamarasheri and Talasheri archdiocese for the youths in the parishes under their jurisdiction. According to Richard Joan, president of KCYM, Tamarasheri Epaki, he says, the screening will be held in Idiki once more. The earlier one was screened by the Catechism Department of the Church and hadn't reached the youth in the Epaki. Apparently, the screening has the blessings and support of church authorities, ladies and gents, and it has been found that the theme of the film is very much relevant for the church. Richard John, president of KCYM uh, Epaki, said, We have been seeing love jihad happening in our parishes. It should be noted that the ministry operating in the Apaki has identified 325 cases of religious conversions. We have only 120 parishes in Tamarasheri Apaki. The number highlights the seriousness of the issue. There was one more opinion given for the screening of the film The Kerala Story and this time by the KCB's Commission for Social Harmony and Vigilance which is about creating awareness against terrorism and the pitfalls of love which are some of the harsh realities of this age. Strange, isn't it? I know. That's what we are going to actually discuss. Not that the Kerala story was not controversial enough, but then to have children view it because it saves them from the pitfalls of love, attraction, even materialistic attractions and love jihad is something that you and I need to debate about. First, let's hear about what Balachandran Kangu senior leader of CPI had to say about the matter. Doordarshan ne ye faisla kiya hai ki election ke dauran wo Kerala story batayenge. Yehi batata hai ki election mein sarkar ka unke upar dabaav hai. Kyunki ye Kerala story jo hai, jab jis din release hui thi, us din unho ne kaha ta ki 32,000 ladikiyon ki shadi hui hai. Aur baad mein unko kehna pada ki 32 nahi hai, sirf 3 loog hai. तो इसका मतलब है शुरू से ही ये जो है ये पॉलिटिकल एजेंडा केरल के समाज में हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन ऐसा डिवाइड करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं मैं बताना चाहता हूं 1952 से लेकर आज तक इलेक्ट केरल में इलेक्शन हुआ है लेकिन केरल की जनता ने कभी भी हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन इस तरह से सोचा नहीं है वोटिंग के लिए लेकिन बीजेपी लगातार ये कोशिश कर रही है पिछले 10 साल से कि केरल की जनता में हिंदू मुस्लिम क्रिश्चियन ऐसा दबाव हो let me now welcome the guest to the show, Father Edward Thomas, Director, Dream India Network. Also, Nirmal Abraham, columnist and political analyst. Both of them have joined. We are awaiting yet another guest, but we'll first start with these two. Uh, Father Thomas, a very warm welcome to you on the show. Father Thomas, we've seen how Narendra Modi, much like he's in Tamil Nadu today and has been into Tamil Nadu for seven times in Kerala also. He's made a lot of efforts to speak with the bishops, to speak with the leaders, religious leaders of the Christian community. Um, uh, do you think, I want to start by asking you, do you think this has really worked in the sense, do you think the church overall, not everybody, but most of them are impressed with the way Prime Minister Modi has held out a hand 
for friendship. <clears throat> Actually, when uh, Janata Party came to power, hmm. especially the Modi ji made a beautiful statement. Sabka saath, sabka vikas, sabka vishwas. I think, you know, one of the beautiful statement he has made. And uh, today, I think he is trying to reach out to the Christian community in different places. Right. And uh, now, uh, we need to just check, you know, how far, because uh, controversies are there, discussions are there, you know, all around, where the Christian authorities, sometimes they believe, sometimes they don't believe. All right. Especially when it comes to the election time, it is not only about one party alone. Different parties to reach out to different groups. All right. So, Father and Thomas, yeah, Father Thomas, I wanted to start this very decently about what you think about Prime Minister Modi. But I want to ask you one question, and I have other guests as well, and I shall wait for their opening comments. Do you think the Kerala story should be shown to students who are between class 10 and 12? because we need to teach them about how to not fall for the lure of love and materialism. Will this film serve the yeah. purpose? Just one word answer, no. Oh, fantastic. Because, huh. okay. because there are so many ways that we can reach up to the students. Hmm. And this may not be the way. First and foremost, this film has been on controversy. I'm not making a comment on a propaganda and all that. But then, you know, we know what is ethics. We know what is values. All right. We know I'm, what is... Yeah. Ethics. I'll come to the moral aspect of it a bit later because let me welcome the other guest. Also, Ajit Lawrence, senior journalist, has joined that. But first up, let me come to Nirmal. Nirmal, very nice to have you on the show. Nirmal, what is going on with the Sairo Malabar Church? It seems like not one. Idiki it started, now it's Tamaraseri and several other places. One after the other, we see that everyone is screening this film. I will ask you the same question. Do you think, first of all, that will this film do anything for cleansing up the morals of young minds, number one? And don't you think it's clearly more political than it has to do with moral science? Right, good evening and uh, thank you for having me. So I'll, I'll just start with this. As a, as a Christian who grew up in Kerala for the most part, I can tell you that summer camps and summer classes are a real thing. They usually happen in the month of April. They usually extend from two weeks to one month and they usually have all kinds of activities from uh, you know group discussions, debates, uh, displaying documentaries, movies and movie reviews. It's, it's actually very normal uh, among Christian communities and churches to do it during summer camp. So that's not something that, that they brought out of the blue. But the problem here is, uh, and I can even tell you the stories that I, I have watched. Personally, I saw the movie of uh, the, the Pursuit of Happiness, which was a story of a struggling single father trying to make ends meet for his six-year-old son. So any movie with a message is usually shown. Yeah. But the problem here with the Kerala story is that there are three things I believe that uh, the community leaders should have looked into, starting with uh, the timing of, of the exhibition, because we know that we're only barely two weeks away from the election. So right. why did do it at the brink of the election is, hmm. is a question that we thought about. Number two is the political debates that were surrounding this movie because it's not like any other movie that gives a message. Right. There was a huge political debate that has been right. going on for the last months ever, ever since the release of this movie. And uh, you know, given that there is a political debate that can influence political results, I think they should have thought of that as well. And the third thing they should have thought of is is the religious community that has been involved in portrayed and misrepresented in Dr. Shashi Tharoor's words. He says that the religious reality of a community has been misrepresented. So in All those right. cases, hmm. if you think that, that way, I think that's something that they should have looked into. But so while I support, I'll just conclude, while I support uh, the right of uh, a community leader to educate their children on the dangers of extremism or conversion, I think that they should have looked into these factors before going ahead and displaying this to the public. All right, and I'm very surprised that, you know, and thank you for enlightening me, Nirmal, because I thought that the church generally, because I also attended moral science classes when I was many moons ago, where we were told that cinema is not an art form. Cinema will corrupt you. 
you know, and I used to sneak and only watch films and I was the most unpopular student in class because I watched all movies. So, you know, the thing is it was supposed to be bad. Any kind of, a, whether the Congress party in Tamil Nadu in the initial years, Rajaji has gone on record saying cinema is something which you should totally avoid. So there is one moralistic thing that they take. Oh, it's a, not an art form. But if you're singing Carnatic music, you're a good girl. And I'm not a good girl, obviously. Ajit Lawrence, good to have you back on the show. Ajit, I want to ask you, I mean, I'm going to read out this thing, uh, you know, and let me not name because it doesn't matter. They're all sounding the same. This is from uh, Thamarachari. And he says that we've identified 325 cases of religious conversions. We have only 120 parishes in um, Thamarasheri. The number highlights the seriousness of the issue. What is this seriousness? Because when research was done and when they said 30,000 odd girls had been converted and married off to, you know, all these ISIS lunatics, it happened that, you know, there were only two or three cases. So where is this, you know, a statement coming from 325 paranoia much? Would you say, Ajit Lawrence? No, I mean, uh, anyone who is I think the age can believe and uh, practice any religion that is constitutionally uh, allowed uh, individual rights. So, uh, according to this church, uh, what do you call the, the number that has been mentioned here, uh, mere conversion doesn't uh, make any, uh, any sense of a crime or anything like that. Only thing the, uh, the church is concerned, what I understand is that. Uh, Church is concerned about the apprehension of the family, parents, of the children who have, uh, who get in uh, love with uh, another community, who are later converted and used as human bonds. That is the apprehension no normally being raised by parents to the church authorities or the, to the church hierarchy. And in that case, the, the apprehension is being taken, reckoned seriously by the church authorities and they have, uh, without even uh, go, going into the uh, values, merit and cases uh, individually, they have uh, abruptly jumped into a conclusion that all those people who uh, yeah, get converted... So, so Ajit, you are, you are absolutely yeah. right. It's jumping to conclusions. I mean, for God's sake, if you're showing a film and like you say, there is an apprehension on the part of a parent, I'm a parent, maybe, uh, although I'm not scared, but I'm saying that if my son or daughter who's in class 12 is going to vote the next year, then he better make decisions for herself or himself. I'm not going to spoon feed him. You know, it's what. But this is not the film to be shown because it clearly, on every count, there is a controversy about it. And it leads towards a party because the BJP in Kerala has gone on and on and on make this film mandatory for students to see this is what others are doing, they are converting. So don't you think it's clearly political, Ajit Lawrence, that it seems that some sections of this no. Airo Malabar church are leaning towards BJP? No, I don't, I don't uh, agree with that sort of uh, uh, political sense in me. It is a sociological, absolutely a sociological issue because uh, the church hierarchy cannot uh, uh, clearly say that since people, I mean, the, the adults, uh, who have attained the age are uh, uh, getting converted in the name of in the guise of being fallen in love with uh, some uh, another minority community and uh, then later converted or uh, taken uh, for the uh, purpose of terrorism or something like that. That is, if that is true, these people should say how many people have been uh, made use for such kind of uh, terrorism activity. But they have the church authority as yeah, the yeah. Uh, honors and the burden uh, lies onto the church authority. But yeah, unless but and until they cannot hmm. mention clearly the number of number of such kind of cases, they cannot merely so uh, therefore I think the number yeah. of so conversion. You, yeah. And now there are multiple church organizations which are encouraging young students to watch this film, apparently to see to it that they don't fall for the lure of materialism or love as it were, trap of love. Father Edward Thomas, Director, Dream India Network, is with us. Let me go to Father Thomas. Uh, uh, Father Thomas, I wanted to ask you that if you read this report, starting with what happened in Iduki, and you know, right now also, it's like all the so-called religious and quasi-religious leaders have gotten together and decided that these children need to be schooled. And this is the best film which will actually teach them how to stay away from, you know, mobile phones, new clothes, uh, the lure of love, apparently men come and they lure you and all that. 
you know what i i i i just see this as indoctrination forget about the film but the entire messaging is that these are kids who don't have brains i mean they need to be tutored indoctrinated so on the one hand they keep talking about this bogey of love jihad oh many girls have been lured on the other hand they are pretty much doing the same thing which we all criticize do not indoctrinate young minds father thomas the whole question is actually uh, when you are uh, talking about the catechism or children are taught the values of jesus christ ha huh. and primary value of jesus christ is as modi ji rightly said sabka vikas so when it comes to singling out a religion or you know being little colored there can be mistakes there can be issues with a religion be it hinduism christianity muslims mm. there are hard liners on in every religion yes and i think we need to correct we need to check and the government is there civil society is there and in a human society of course it is going to happen because of uh, power money positioning different understanding of spirituality so when it talks to christianity i think especially when you are talking to children is it the right way that the church authorities are you know uh, talking to the children is there no any other methodology is right. it love and what is christ has taught is love yeah. love your neighbor as yourself yeah but you know you father know, yeah father thomas one thing i want to ask you considering you know you are director of dream india network and also someone who knows the community very well the the who, those who are cloistered for lack of any other word we have seen the church in kerala being extremely together unity even when there are allegations of sexual misconduct on a particular priest or a nun we have seen scenes where no one speaks out no one speaks out even in this case i don't see i see politicians fighting bjp saying it's a good thing that you are doing congress and um, left saying what is this this is an rss sangh parivar thing why isn't the church speaking father after all like you have spoken why is that the church is so quiet i know there are different churches and orders in kerala but someone needs to speak and actually you know according to our canon law we are not supposed to be priests bishops pope nobody is supposed to be aligned to a political party hmm. this is completely banned or direct right. or indirect yeah but, but at the same time hmm. we can always talk about you know how a person should be a good politician yeah so according to you you are saying that it's a wrong thing to refer to this film to teach kids whatever you know they intend to teach and that's a very bold statement and i think very open nirmal uh, i want to come to you and i want to ask you the same question when have you seen any order of the church i mean i can see in vilnium they all come out and they protest against a conglomerate i have seen them you know they are doing some very good work i mean there is no gain saying the fact but the point is that on issues like this the church keeps quiet it's almost like we are in it together it's almost like it is uh, you know a promise that is made to each other why doesn't someone stand up and say what are you doing why are you showing this film to the children you're right there is no official statement regarding this that yes. has been read such as hmm. anywhere but there are there are priests that have come out uh, on their own not on behalf of uh, of uh, you know of a community or a, any particular christian denomination they have come out and said that yes it is true that you know the, the some parts of the movie is actually misrepresented yes there are no 32000 women there are probably only three women and they've even named them nimisha nimisha j sorry uh, yeah nimisha nair um so, uh, sonia sebastian and then uh, one one other girl meren jacob so these are the the actual cases that they know but the the message intended was to show that there are things like this happening and people should be aware nothing beyond that is what they're saying but that's not again not from the part of the church it's only a representative of the church mm. who spoke on his behalf not on not on behalf of the church mm. and the other thing is i don't think this is going to make much of a difference to be honest being in being from kerala i can tell you that the only difference that it can make is probably increase uh, you know a slight amount of share for the bjp and that's not going to be enough for them to win either because if you look at these places idikki and wayanad look at the the vote share that the bjp had the last time was 7.25% in wayanad and 8.5% in in idikki so wayanad is where they're going to dis display the movie again 
uh, in, in the coming week. And in Wayanad, even the entire Christian community is probably 22% of the, of the population in Wayanad. So even if the entire Christian community, let's say, they watch the movie and they turn to BJP and cast a vote for them, even if that's the case, I don't think BJP has a chance because their vote share last time was probably close to 7, 7.5%. So, um, so I don't think it's, this is going to make much of a difference as far as the elections is concerned. The two mm. places that it can make a difference is one, Trishur, and the other, Trivandrum. And it's not because of the movie, it will probably be because of the individuals. One is Rajiv Chandra Shagar right. and Trivandrum. Yes. All, right. All right. So he's Nirmal says that it's not going to make a difference to them, but I'm more worried about the children. Ajit Lawrence, you don't think it's political, am I correct? That you don't think it's more sociological. But I see many political colors in this. And after all, we uh, come to a conclusion because of what has happened earlier and what has when the film released. I don't know if you remember, but I do like Kashmir Files. I mean, there was reams and reams written about it and of course, the numbers were also kind of, you know, 32,000, it was, the myth was exploded. But I want to ask you, what about the kids, Ajit Lawrence? Why are they being made to oh. see such a terrible film? And not only terrible, and I'm sticking my neck out, even cinematically, it's a bad film. And I've seen it. Uh, but not only bad film, but it is also something which is twisting facts. Do the kids need it? Uh, no, I mean, in, in such kind of things, uh, like uh, in all the films, we have the statutory warning, say that uh, alcohol and smoking is uh, injurious to health. Likewise, likewise, it is kind of something that misinterprets or interprets uh, into uh, some sort of, uh, what is called, love jihad or some conversion or service or mm. something like that. The films should be uh, also uh, given a statutory warning, like that, you know. Children or, uh, or adults should not fall in love with uh, people who are not in healthy uh, sense. I mean, physically, they should not fall in love with people who. How do you do that? Love is a choice, people. Ajit Lawrence. Yeah, love is, is a choice. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm coming to that. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to write at least a word, something like a statutory warning or something like that. But uh, as, far, as far as your statement is concerned, it is politically, if it is politically successful uh, a film, then RSS people or the Sangha people are successful in bringing out such kind of a film. Because having it been uh, screened and censor board certified, this is allowed, permitted by uh, Supreme Court. So are you recommending the film, Ajit Lawrence? Are you saying it's fine for all these church, all these churches to kind no. of show this film? No, no, I don't. I don't say exactly like that. You okay. know, the thing is, the church, church shall not, church shall not, uh, in any way, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, eliminate or exclude a, a certain community in the name of this kind of a film. Well, that has to be very, very careful when they, yeah, uh, when they react. Well, they Ajit, have to, they yeah. have to be very careful in reaction. You they know, have said very clearly, Ajit Lawrence, they yeah. say very clearly, it's not about any particular religion. But you know what? Everyone is quite intelligent and we are all grown-ups. Thank you very much. Look at the poster. The poster says it all. I mean, that much common sense the world has, no? So what is the church trying to pull wool over our eyes? I mean, sorry, fathers, but it's not working. It's very clear that it's against a particular religion. You feel that your children are being lured by men of other religion, then I think you need to speak to your kids. And after all, I really believe that love is a choice, but you need to guide your kids much better than showing them such kind of cinema. On that note.